What up fam? What up family? Welcome back to my channel. This time around, this time around we have The Temptations with I Can't Get Next To You. This is from their 1969 album, Puzzle People. Actually, I'm looking at this track list. It says Hey Jude. So they covered Hey Jude. I want to hear The Temptations sing uh, Hey Jude. The Temptations, man, uh, came into my radar because of the um, the movie. And then they they have a, a TV show. I know David Ruffin. <laughs> Everybody know of it. Uh, it was the problematic one. Um, but yo, I miss, I miss. This is when R and B was R and B, man. I, I I miss these these groups, man. Say what you wanna say. Uh, even though this was a little before Boys to Men in them, I feel like these groups carried R and B all the way until like mid to late '90s, and then they just started disappearing, and then uh, you know. Things started to go left, but I, I I do I do miss these groups. So um <clears throat> yeah, if y'all want to see more of the Temptations on this channel, I'm actually embarrassed because I hardly know much about the Temptations besides what I've seen from the movies. <laughs> so I'm definitely down to do a deep dive into their music. Y'all just keep letting me know what y'all want. And if you do enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the video, leave a comment, let me know that you are here. Uh, and of course, I got the schlerics. Let's go ahead and listen. these bands man like all of them had different voices and, and, and different pitches and, and they mesh and, and mashed them all together and the instrumentation is always funky you just wanna ah. see let's see who was the lead uh because it doesn't say David Ruffin right here it says okay so Dennis Edwards tenor baritone vocals 
Eddie Kendrick's first tenor falsetto vocals. Okay, so they got some just for the falsettos. Paul Williams, baritone vocals. Uh, Malvin Franklin, bass vocal. He's so he's the guy that, uh, that go low. Otis Williams, um, second tenor vocals. Uh, man, D, uh, look. Whoever was producing these guys, man, to be able to be like, all right, now, nah, I want you to say this here, say this there, say this here, this there. Oh, uh, primarily composed of sl Sly and the Family Stones, James Brown. Wait, James Brown was in F Sly and the Family Stones? Someone told me to review them. I never did. Bro, there's all these bands, man, and, and like so much. And I know somehow hip hop roots comes from that and, and all that. Uh, but it's, it, it, it's just so much. Of the, the history is so crazy. Um, was James Brown and Sly? And Sly, Sly Stone. That's another been out. Anyways, dope, dope song. Uh, it says here it was a number one hit, too. Shots to the Temptations. Shots to the T Temptations. I think I heard My Girl by the Temptations. It was like one of the most beautiful thing ever the first time I heard it. Uh, it uh, just beautiful music, man. Great. Just history, and every time I hear you, I see how giddy I get it. It's just, it, it's just amazing how uh, how incredible these musicians were, and like the massive amount of music they they left behind for us to explore. See, that's that's what they used to call crate digging, you know, like DJs and producers and shit. They'll crate dig, they'll go back to the hits, and then they'll find some and then mix it up. Next thing you know, Jay Z got a hit from the same. It, it, it's dope, man. But anyways, y'all, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below and also let me know what's next from the temptations and if you made it this far go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video if you like the video leave a comment let me know that you are here and i'll see y'all in the next one and guess what you better be there peace